Welcome back to Oracle of Seasons, Part 16, and Gerdad is still lost in Winter Woods. Part 3. What the fuck? I have went back to this old man's house. I don't know why. You, you went I have back jump cut to the map, realizing that, holy shit, this is Eyeglass Lake. Yeah, it actually indicates my name, apparently. Yep, that's ice. Definitely ice textures. Oh, there, wait, there. I'm supposed to go over there. There's a thing! Let's go to the thing! Now, I've seen that before, but I was unable to get to it because I didn't have the flippers. But now that I have the flippers, I can get there. Yes. Actually, you can get this as soon as you... You, you can get Autumn as soon as you get the, uh... As soon as you get the flippers. I think that's how I think it's broke the first yep. time I did this. Yeah. Welcome to a new part of Sabrosia. The northeastern this, corner. Yes, this is, this is the northeast corner where they make all the ore. Or where they refine all the ore. And also the sign shop. The sign shop. Have you broken any signs? Of course not. Who could? Yeah, at this point in the game, I haven't broken any signs. I changed that slightly. <laughs> and when you, when you start breaking signs, he lets you know how many you've broken. Yep. And when you've broken a hundred, he gives you a ring to remind you of how much you suck. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that, so I don't break 100 signs. It's, um, 100% completion requirement, and it's pretty humorous that it actually pisses him off that you would do that. <laughs> it's, it's segments like these that remind me that this game kind of has like a screen-by-screen -screen checkpoint system. Behold the bomb flower! I didn't even know I needed this! Yes, because um, we've not actually gone to the spot where they tell us, Hey, we need help opening this door. Can you go get us a bomb flower? And yes. it's like, where the, well, where the fuck would I go for a bomb flower? Technically, it's the Gorons that are supposed to have the bomb flower, but no, it's actually Sabrosian that's got it. Maybe the Sabrosians are Gorons with hoods. No. Dropping my mic. Dropping microphone and we're back. Whoa. Oh, I don't have the magnetic gloves yet. Or oh. the rocks cape. Oh, shoot. Um, well, honestly, you don't... You need to get there in order to get one of the two ore pieces you need to get your iron shield. Yes. The problem with this game, as it was in ages, is you don't need the iron shield. Indeed. The Iron Shield is literally part is literally part of the Crescent Island uh, trading quest that uh, you can't finish until the tail end of the game. So right. Melted down as far as this can melt in the middle. Now, see what I thought was that that fool's orb that I used to have, I could you know put into this fucking furnace, but I don't have that fool's orb anymore. Yeah, you know when you... they told me to uh to go and um, uh, return the fool's orb that they gave me? Yeah. I couldn't do that. It, it was just literally gone from my inventory. Well, probably because you just... You probably gave it back to the same place where they got it, which is from somebody else. Yeah, but I haven't been talking... Uh, no one um, uh, no one in Sabrosia has actually told me about about this, so... Yes, I jump cut it to the other, the other side of Sabrosia so we can get to the temple. I technically could have just, you know... Picked up that rock, and uh, and Pegasus seat, uh, seated my way over, but... Yeah, you could have just headed directly north. Oh, wait, no, that's where you're going. We're good, we're making it. Yep. Away! Yeah, you're not, you're not using Pegasus seats. Of course I'm not using Pegasus seats, they're a resource. You have 49 of them. And they're still a resource. Well, time also is a resource, which we Yeah, but I'm conserve. willing to spend the time to just slowly jaunt over there. Oh, we're jaunting, all right. We're vaulting and jaunting. Oh, hey, yeah, I just happened upon this. That was great. Now we have plenty thanks to you. If you ever need any ore melted, come to the furnace. 
which is weird because uh, up to this point you can't actually have collected any of the ore. You need the magnetic gloves in order to get both ore. Yes. Hello, Autumn. I dislike you. You're the last of the seasons. This is why I dislike you, because for the rest of the game, autumn, uh, the Autumn Spirit is actually the most important, which is sad. Because it lets you depetrify the mushrooms? No, because it because it fills up pits. Oh yeah. <coughs> to get to Dungeon Seven, you have to have the Spirit of Autumn. Or is it eight? No, it's seven because eight's actually in Sephrosia. You need you need Autumn to get into the fifth dungeon. You need Autumn to get and to get into Dungeon Seven. And and so, no, not yeah you yeah you need from the, from this point on all the dungeons require the Spirit of Autumn. Well, I know that six directly requires um, having access to fall. So does five. Dungeon seven, I yes, think. Yes, because in order in order to cross in order to cross the uh, pathway to get into dungeon seven, you you have to fill up you have to fill up the pits with leaves. I don't remember that though. I don't know how. I remember that there's a there's a heart piece that you have to get use autumn in order to get. Because you have to clear out a mushroom. And then you need the rockscape in order to do that in the first place. Yeah, now that we have the Spirit of Autumn, we can go directly to Dungeon 5. Yep. Literally. Just, we walk into the damn thing now. Oh, I wanted to see the whole screen erupt in holes. No. See, I've already, I've already got one of the jewels because of, um, because of the Sunken City, a side quest with fire. Right. And so I'm like, maybe I can go after the other jewels, but no, I can't. I mean, I can't, I can get all of them, but I can't, you know, I can't seem to uh, figure out what I'm supposed to do for them all. Well, you definitely knew to go right to Dungeon 5, because there it is, completely unobstructed. For Except long. for the damn mushrooms. Which for some reason vanish as though they're made of magic. The magic mushrooms. And boom. Unicorn's cave. Da, 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 da. Sadly, we don't fight the unicorn in this place. Yeah, there's no unicorn. Well, the, the dungeon map is shaped like a unicorn. This is like, this is the dungeon of General Un uh, Unicorn. Really? General yep. Unicorn? Yes, General Unicorn of the, of the Unicorn Army. Hmm. First Battalion. Can it be General Unicron instead? It can be, um... <laughs> some kind of militaristic denomination because the music in this dungeon is really... is really intense. Yes. Uh, <laughs> there's a uh, there's a neat shortcut that you can use with the uh, Pegasus seeds and rocks feather. Yep. I don't use it though. But I think I might use it to get out, but the compass. Like a boss. Oh, you used the suicide shortcut. We did it! Yay! <laughs> we killed ourselves. <laughs> so, this dungeon... Th this dungeon is just a joy overall. There are a lot of small keys. You feel like you're making progress, like, pretty consistently. The music keeps you entertained. The enemies are not overly difficult. And... And the item you got is pretty cool. Yes. I I stand by that the magnetic gloves are the coolest thing not in any in either of the uh in in either of the games. I love myself the switch hook, I do. But the mag but the magnetic gloves are the are just so much cooler. Yeah. So they have a lot of pretty surprising functions at times. Yep. Besides just using the north south blocks over and over again. 
actually. Ace monkey. Actually, the uh, the red and blue knights that you find, the 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 red nuts and the blue nuts, they uh, uh, it, you, depending on the polarity of the gloves, you can either push them or uh, attract them. Mm, can you do the same thing with whiz ropes? No. Damn. Because green does not interact with red or blue. Well, there's different shades of, of whiz ropes too, dude. You got red, you got red and blue whiz ropes. Whiz ropes. Yeah. Well, whiz we haven't ropes. seen blue whiz ropes yet, thankfully, but whiz ropes aren't made of metal. They're made of whiz. Ropes. Oh yeah, those are bottomless pits, by the way. Hello. Hello, one motivation. That's the squish you! <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see. Don't worry, we'll be exploring the uh, the other path shortly. This, this dungeon is just. Even the color scheme, like, it, it keeps you awake. Yes, it does. D Dancing Dragon was putting me to sleep. This is like, alright, we're doing shit now. Look at all these reds. Look at all these purples. I don't know if I was supposed to go over there yet or not. I assume that I probably was. But there are so many goddamn treasure chests in Unicorn's Cave. Yeah, there are. There's a lot of. There is a ton of small keys in this dungeon. I think this this is where I had more small keys at one time than any other point in the game. I had four keys. Yeah. I don't think I got up to four personally, but I'm pretty sure I would have been able to get up to four. Oh yeah. It's the map! It's the map! Behold the unicorn! All, all glory to the unicorn! Mm, and my sword is now disabled. Arms away! I almost got hit by the thwomp. And here is my first real application of the shield. Holy crap. The shield actually does things. Yes. I thought it was just a useless fucking necessity from other Legend of Zelda games. It's real purpose. To block lasers. You have to evade the, the, the Bowser heads. I like this puzzle. I actually like this puzzle too, but at the same point it's um... It's it's rather odd. Oh, it's quite odd. Two steps to victory. There. We did it. Sword and board link attacks. Must destroy. Give them. Donkey Kong hand swinging action. Hey, we're on the other side of the magnet block. I'd like and to I think, still don't have the magnetic gloves. I'd like to think at this point that N stands for no. <laughs> no. <laughs> you walk Recall up the to... order you slay the knights in. What are the heck are you talking about, Owl? Oh, there are we no are about to find room. out. What was not relevant before becomes relevant as we play. Yeah. And this then... puzzle actually tripped me up a little bit. Just a little, but af uh, after the... Uh, after the first time, it was like, oh, yeah, that's what's going on. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, have to, you have to learn, like, what's really going on. Not so much that these guys do a lot of fucking damage. They do one heart just by touching you. Unfortunately, I have already messed up. Yeah, because now you can't you can't tell what order you destroyed them in. These guys move really fast. Really fast, I'm gonna do a lot of Hey, I got, I got the first one, right? Got one, Rupee. Nope. And you blow it! Oh, eat fairies! Eat anti-fairies. Those are bubbles. Mm. But this is where we get the coolest item in the game. Yeah. 
I mean, I am a fan of the Rock's Feather from Minish Cap, but the Rock's Feather of Minish Cap was a much better fucking item than, than it is here. Really? Yeah. Well, how did, how did they improve it? Um, for one, the rock the Rock's Feather actually, you could use... Uh, Minish Cap has got a lot better control scheme, for one, so the Rock's Feather doesn't feel nearly as slippery. Oh, sorry, this is just a small key. <laughs> Damn it, Gerda! I am sorry. And in the next part, we will get the magnetic gloves. I promise. <laughs>